Hi everyone, it's Anne here from Positively Papercraft. Today I am back with a sort of real of your stash, sort of teamed with a um, 10 different ways and it's to make 10 different Christmas cards which have got that sort of wow factor but they are really easy to do. So if you stick with us I will show you what we're going to make. Okay, number one is, this was just my little prototype, you can see it's sort of like a beanie sort of um, hat card. Dead easy to do, um, I'm going to show you. So what I've done is I took a circle die and I folded the card and I just ran it through, but obviously left, let me just quickly show you here. Obviously I used a bigger circle than this, but when I went to cut it out the card, I just let it hang over slightly so that it didn't just cut two circles. So it's cut this, but what I want to do is I'm going to take my trimmer. I've got the fold of the card just there and I'm going to cut it so that it sort of kind of cuts, cuts it more in half. And I've cut it with this sort of lovely shimmery card. So now it's basically just a half circle. Then I took a couple of pieces of paper and I cut them out from the next size down circle so that when I layer them on they should be a little border around. And then all I'm going to do here is just grab a pencil and I'm just going to mark this paper here. So I'm just going to aim to put that on the cut line of my trimmer. Where's it gone? There it is. And just sort of cut this. And hopefully... We need to cut a little bit more off. And that will do because actually we're going to have a band that's going to go along the bottom. So I'm going to use this piece as a template to cut my other piece which will be for the back of the card. So now I've got those. Then I took two little pieces of the same card as this. It measures... <clears throat> it's five and three quarters by about one and one eighth and I've cut two of them because they are going to be kind of go across to make the bottom of the hat. You need one for the front, one for the back, but I'm going to round the corners of them. Okay, so I've rounded the corners. I wonder if you can hear the cat purring. <laughs> He's just lying in the window purring his little head off. This is a knitted one by Sizzix and I want to have both of mine with this pattern on. So I am going to run them through and then I also cut out, if I can find them, yeah, so I cut out a circle of this silver glimmery paper, well white, and a scallop circle and that's going to be go on the top and that's going to be my little sort of um, hat like the bubble on the top of the hat so I'll emboss them and I'll be back all right I've embossed both of them so let's get this together How cute is that? Then you can obviously write your message inside. That is adorable. There it 
there we go so have a go at a little beanie hat let's move on to the next one okay number two is really simple but beautiful this is what I'm calling a floating snowflake and basically because the snowflake just looks like it's sort of floating and I just think it's such a simple but elegant very elegant card and um, dead easy to make so we'll make another I've got a card base uh, 11 and 3 quarters by 4 inches scored in the middle at 5 and 7 eighths I've got a card front here which is slightly smaller now I've got a circle die which is um, it's three and a quarter inches and what I want to do is I want to cut it out of this will be the front of the card so I'm going to cut that out like that then when I've cut that out <clears throat> I'm going to place it on here and I'm going to draw a pencil line inside the cut so that then I know that I also want to cut this out here of the front but I'll have the pencil mark so I'll know where to cut that so I'm going to do that I'll be back all right that's what I've done cut it out there first then laid it on there drew the line and then I knew where to place the die so we're going to work on the top of the card what I've done is I took a snowflake die I've got in my stash um, and it's beautiful actually and I cut it out twice of silver mirror card but before I cut it I put double sided adhesive on the back of the card then I cut it out so they're both sticky the reason I've cut two is because if we look at the original here when you open it obviously that's the back of the die I didn't want to see just the white part of the die so it was so that it would be silver on both sides so turn it to the back side I've got a piece of acetate here and I'm going to glue that to there like that the good thing is all the sort of workings of the card are hid so it looks really tidy on the inside as well <clears throat> right so there's my acetate in there now I'm going to start with the back first so I'm going to take the sticky adhesive sheet well the backing off my snowflake because using glue would just be a nightmare you would get it all over your acetate and it would just pretty much look a mess if I'm honest so now this is sticky so I'm going to try and position it as best as I can I want it kind of central in the circle if I can that's it so that is the this is the back that's not too bad actually see that's what you would see on the inside if we didn't use two die cuts peel it off the other one and then now I need to be really careful sorry if I'm out with shot but I want to get this in the right place so I just start sort of from the bottom and I just get it laid up first the best I can which that's not too bad actually there we go Ok, 
can you see you actually have it on both sides which I think is so pretty because it just looks like it's floating card base this is going to get stuck on here but we're going to pop it on with foam pads just to give it a bit of height isn't that just so pretty and then on the inside what I did with the original was I cut some merry card and then I put some white card on I used my little photo corner punch and I'm going to put that inside and that just makes it look really really elegant It's just so pretty and then I've got these two little sentiments I cut from the same merry card which are really good size I've got Christmas wishes now they are from I have these on my website you get a set of them and um, you get one two three four five six I think you get seven but they're all like a really good size um, so I'm going to just glue them on there Christmas wishes and I've got some little metallic silver pearl drops I might just pop a few down this side here Just give them a little tap under the bottom. It just sort of helps them fall into a more rounder shape. And then I think I'm going to leave it at that, but that is beautiful. And there's the original that I made. There we go. Let's move on to the third one. All right, number three. This is so easy to do, but I think it looks lovely. I'm going to show you. It's a really simple Santa suit card. Dead easy to do, but I think it just looks pretty awesome. I'll quickly make one. I've got a card base here. I've cut a white piece of card, which I know is gonna fit down there. I'm gonna pop that on first. It's okay. I've got a piece of black card here, which I'm gonna make for the belt. So that's going to go sort of roughly in the middle. But we're going to put foam tape on that one. And all I've took, I've got a um, Secura or Secura jelly roll pen. These white gel pens are amazing. And I'm just going to start and draw some little four stitching along. Yep, it's going to go there. Then this was just a little layer and die set I've got, like a fancy layer and die. It could be a square, it could be a circle, you could use anything for the belt buckle. And then that is just going to go in the middle. Okay. And then I've got some little buttons. I've just got a little button die. I've got a few little button dies. I'm sure most of you have. And I'm just gonna glue two on the top. I've took some Miri card and I've stamped a sentiment in the middle, wishing you a very Merry Christmas. It is from this set here, 
which I have this on my side as well. You can do loads with that. So I'm just going to adhere this to my There we go. So quick and easy. And where's the first one we made? This was a slightly different colour red I used. But yeah, try them because they are really, really nice. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, everyone, let's move on to number four, if I can get it. This is beautiful and honestly it is so easy to make but it's definitely got that wow factor. So I'm going to show you how easy it is. I have got a card base which is four and a half by eleven and three quarters scored in the middle at four and seven eighths. Now I've got a circle die here. And this is the snowflake that I'm going to be using this time. So I know that I roughly want it somewhere here on the card. So I'm going to work out, because I don't want it right to the edge, I want to leave a bit of space. So I probably want the circle about here. So I'm going to take that out and I'm just going to put a bit of low tack tape on tape that down and I'm going to cut it out. Don't cut it out from the back obviously, just the front. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Okay, there we go, we've got that. Now, the paper, I cut the paper to the exact same size as the card. Four and a half, five and seven eighths. Now, I want the same cut out from this, okay? So I know it's the exact same size as the card. So I'm going to put it in till it goes right up to the top, get it all level, close it, get my pencil and just draw a pencil line around and then you may not be able to see because it's a busy paper. But now I know I've got to pop my die on there and cut that out. So I'll do that and I'll be back. Okay, there we go. Absolutely perfect. So I will quickly show you what I've done. I've just popped some foam pads on the back of that ready. Now, I cut two snowflakes out identical. Again, I cut them with double-sided adhesive. So I've also got a piece of this sort of silvery string. If you got my craft kit this month, I think you had some in there. Anyway, take the backing of one of the snowflakes. And then I wanna have my snowflake just there, so straight up and down. So take the string, making sure it's long enough and I am going to pop it, I'm going to run it straight down the middle of this snowflake because we've got the double sided adhesive it will stick. All right, Oop. there we go. Now peel the back in, well we didn't really need to put back in on both of them actually, you only need to put it on one, sorry that's my mistake, so only put, you only need the sticky on one of them. Don't know why I've put it on, never mind. So we're going to take the other side of the snowflake or the other snowflake and we're going to line it up with this so it, you can get it on as best as you can. Okay, just take your time. And that seems. I'm pretty happy with that actually. Give that a good, oh, not that one, I wasn't, never mind. Give that a good press down so the string is in between the snowflakes now. Now, kind of get where you want your snowflake. You want 
obviously you don't want it right at the end so I'm going to have mine there now I'm going to take a foam pad and let me see where I've got yeah so I haven't got any I didn't put any foam pads directly above there so first one I'm going to pop a foam pad just there okay I'm going to get another foam pad ready and you want to be pulling this pretty tight again I like to do it from the side so I'm pulling it tight and then while it's pulled tight I'm going to put a foam pad and press that down so now you can see we've already got our spinner and that's basically it it's so easy I'm going to cut the excess thread and that's it for your spinner it's a case of taking the foam pad back ends off and I'm going to pop my paper on don't forget to take them off this one these ones as well there we go then on the inside I've made I've got Miri card use my um, corner rounder and I'm going to pop that in there. absolutely beautiful and then for my little snowflake well actually I'll do that in a minute I've cut a happy Christmas sentiment die which I'm going to have along the top and I did cut it out of about three I did three layers so I just cut two with like white card and then the other one with the silver on the top just to give it you know a bit more dimension and I'm going to pop that along there And then I've got some little dew drops. I'm going to get a largish one. And I'm just going to put a bit of glue around here because there's a hole in the middle of the snowflake. Actually, that might be a bit too much glue but it does dry clear so hopefully it will be okay it doesn't look nice now but once it's dry it will because I used the same glue with this one and once it dried it was it was absolutely fine but there you go aren't they just absolutely beautiful and I mean it didn't take long to make that at all so have a go at these snowflake spinners because I think the, this is my favourite out of all of them actually. So let's move on to the next one. Okay, we'll move on to the next one. Um, this one, I'm sure you've seen these about but I just think they make such beautiful cards and they are so simple. You don't need loads of stuff. This one I made it with actual enamel dots. Um, it does take a lot but then I thought well I know loads of us have um, you know 3D pearls and tonic and um, nouveau drops and whatnot I know I've got loads let's try it with these so I've got a card base I probably won't be able to do it because it won't be dry by the time I finish but we'll just see if it works and I've just cut a circle out of here with a die <clears throat> and 
I'm going to pop it down and I'm going to just put some low tack tape on so I want to stay in this circle and I've chose golden red so I'm probably going to speed it up um, and you can watch it go by a little bit quicker. there we go yes it definitely works but just make sure you don't put them like too close together where I've put a little bit of them close together because when you need to tap the back so that they form into more of a you know like an enamel dot shape but yeah you can definitely do it with your enamel uh, shapes or pearl nouveau drops and then I just put a bit of gold ribbon tied a bow really really simple and it uses up your enamel and um, sorry your like pearl drops so let's move on to the next one okay the next one is just a little idea how um, I've sort of made a bauble but not using a bauble die or a stamp or anything really easy to do so I took a piece of card here just out of some really sort of thin scrap paper I've cut a circle and I am going to tape it with some low tack tape just down so it doesn't move around okay it's really easy to make this And then this time I've chosen this sort of background stamp which has got loads of different trees on it and I'm going to basically stamp that onto there and that's going to end up being my bauble. So I'm going to use some green ink and that's worked pretty well. I'm going to peel it off and then what I did was I cut out a circle again and um, just the same size and then one size bigger to get this sort of you know round bauble shape and then you will just glue that down but I mean you can stamp whatever you want in them it can be any kind of stamps so in effect you're just sort of creating your own bauble and I never seem to get mine straight but get them you know cut them the best you can really it's in the right place it's just so it gives it a nice border and makes it look like a bauble rather than just you know sort of a floating design in the middle and then what I did was I just took a pen and a ruler and you can measure in the middle if you want I'm just going to guesstimate it and I just drew a line I mean don't guesstimate it because that is just way off <laughs> my bauble's a bit crooked um, but you know what I mean get it in the middle um, and then I just tied a little bow with some ribbon you just put that over the top and then I just popped a little sentiment on the bottom and I think that's another great way you know to make some really pretty cards without having to need a specific like bauble die so let's move on to the next one okay now this next one is so easy to do and it's sort of like a gatefold card and I've made it look like you know a door a double door and when you open it up I've just put my tree die in with some fancy paper but I think this is such a really lovely way to make a really sort of you know wow card as a little door 
Um, all I did, I'll just talk you through this one actually, I took a piece of card which was nine inches by five and I scored on the long side, I scored both ends at two and a quarter. So I scored it two and a quarter, I rotated it and then two and a quarter. And then I just filled it with paper, whatever you want in the middle. And the front was just a case of, you know, little squares layered up together, inked the edges of them. Um, I made a little sort of letterbox with a bit of gold mirror card and I just put two little pearls on for the handles. Um, and then I've got a piece of white card on the back to write your sentiment message. But isn't that just so, so pretty? I mean, you could also add little door numbers. You could maybe even make a little wreath and put a little wreath on. You know, loads of different options. But I'll have the measurements on my blog if you want to follow these ones. Um, but yeah, that's so easy to make. But I love that one actually. So we'll move on to the next one. Okay, everyone, this next one's really nice and it's a pop-up tree card. I've got a card base which is 11 and 3 quarters by 6. I've scored the middle at 5 and 7 eighths. That's our card base. I've got a white piece of card which is 11 and a half by 5 and 7 eighths. Now you're going to score this one. Okay, you're going to score it on the long side at three and a half inches, five and three quarters, and eight inches. Okay. Now it's going to fold a valley first, a mountain, then another valley. Okay, that's going to be your card. Now, quickly you need to make a template. Take a piece of card which is five and three quarters in, le in height and four and a half inches wide. Mark along the top at two and one quarter of an inch. That's the middle and we're making a triangle so just bottom left hand corner up to the middle, middle to the bottom right hand corner. Cut this out if I can find scissors. There's our template. Now, take our white piece of card. It should fit exactly in the middle between the two end score lines. So what you want to do is put it on with pencil. Don't press on too hard because you are going to need to rub these out. Draw around the triangle. Okay, take a ruler and what you are going to do, let me get this right, yeah, so put it in the middle score line. Now every half an inch you're going to mark, so half, one, okay. And then all you're going to do is draw a straight pencil line across the marks from one end of the tree to the other. Okay, you should have that. Now, I've got a little mat. I've got my ruler and what I'm going to do, I've got my little knife here, 
starting from the first line all you're going to do is cut along them every single line now take your time because you want it to be you know nice and neat so one end to the other oopsie is that moving Here. Now actually before we do that it's probably easier take a little scoring tool and score down these lines that we drew to make our triangle. So I'm going to score mine twice. And it might look a hard card when it's made, but it's actually really simple. Okay, so we've done that. So just continue, cut every single pencil line. Okay, so I'm just checking they're all cut. Now rub out all of the pencil mark. Okay, so that is that done. Now, what you wanna do is we need to start to fold back every other line. So this one here, we're going to fold it back. Now when you fold it back, you can also just fold this as well, which that's why we scored down the side there. So let's fold that back too. This one will stay forward, this one will go back. So you're just alternating it like that, back, forward, back, forward. Okay, forward, back. As I said, it's really not hard. It may look hard, but it isn't. Back. Gets a little bit trickier the further you move up because obviously they're smaller but you can do it if you just take your time. And especially once you start to fold it in, you probably won't be able to fold this one back, but it's okay. So if we get these back like they're supposed to be, what we're gonna do then is we're gonna fold it in the middle folding this middle here and then once you do that it will start to go in the right shape you can press that down can you see that there I wish I could get this one back but I don't think I can but actually it doesn't matter because I'm going to be putting a star on the front so I don't know why I bothered with that any anyway so that is it and it will stay like that now because you'll be having glue on here glue on this panel only so that when this is glued in here it will still open and close flat like this so it's up to you how you decorate it you can put paper do whatever you want i'm gonna stamp some snowflakes on mine so i've got snowflakes and i've got some ink i'm gonna speed it up while i stamp
Okay, I'm good at I've got ink all over the place. Never mind. So I've got a star. I just die cut a star, but what I did was I scored it in, in the middle. Because I want this to just go like that. So I'm going to glue that on. And we just need to get it stuck into our card base. So I'm just going to glue that on there. I think that is such a cool card though. So we want glue on the side here. mess with this ink honestly and then down this side as well so just put it as if it was going to be flat just pull that across there so that when it lifts up you will see you are the tree lines inside. Now it's beautiful apart from I've ruined it with the ink so I don't know I may do another one for the photographs because that's just terrible. <laughs> There's ink all over the place and when you close it it will fold completely flat. How cool is that? So we'll have a go because it isn't hard as I said and I just think it looks so effective. So we'll move Okay, so the next one we're going to make a pop-up present card. I think I made this probably last year, but we did it a different way. So I've got a piece of red card, which is nine by five inches. I've scored it in the middle at four and a half. So we've got the score line here. So have the score line facing you measure along the bottom mark it at two and a half inches which is the middle okay two and a half inches now come along again and mark it at one and five eighths so no sorry one and three eighths mark it at one and three eighths okay then let me measure that then from the two and a half inch pencil line come along and mark it at three and five eighths so one and three eighths two and a half three and five eighths that's your markings for now so from the very first pencil mark, measure up one and one quarter of an inch and draw a pencil line. Okay. The last pencil mark, again, measure up one and one quarter of an inch and then draw a line across the top. So you will have a sort of large box there. Okay, let me just quickly measure them. That's right. So, from the very edge here, well, no, I'm telling a lie. From this pencil line, measure back one inch and mark it at the bottom. This pencil line, measure along one inch mark it at the bottom okay 
So the very first pencil line now that we've just created, measure up one inch, then draw a line across. Measure up on the last pencil line, one inch, actually get the damn thing straight. I'm just drawing that again because it just wasn't straight at all. Then again draw a line across. So what you should have is, can you see, you should have three boxes there. Now this one I've measured up a bit too much so I'm going to measure that one again so it looks higher than the other. Yeah, should be about there. So you should have three boxes. Like that. So what you're going to do now is you can use a craft knife, you can use scissors. I'm going to use some scissors. So the very first line where the first box is, we are going to cut this pencil line. Just cut up the pencil line. Now you're going to cut up this pencil line, which is obviously going to go longer but that's fine just follow the pencil line follow this pencil line and then follow the end pencil line okay so where we've drew the lines here, score them. Okay, so score this one. Score the top one. Score the end pencil line as well. Now, open your card what you want to do is push this end box in press it down okay push the middle box in push them inside flatten it down push the end box in. Do the same thing. So they're all going to go in like this. Give it a good fold. And when you open it up, you will have three little boxes which will resemble our presents. Okay. So now it's just a case of opening it back out and we want to decorate our little boxes. So I've cut some little pieces of card, but I think some of them might be the wrong size. Anyway, I'm going to have the two little end presents are going to be green. like so and then I have cut this one but I don't know why I've cut it that in anyway that's wrong so I'm going to cut them again and then I'm going to stick them on and I've also cut some of these really thin strips of glitter and they are going to go up like that to resemble presents and then the top one I'll put one across so I'm going to get these cut out and then I'll stick these on and then we'll do them Okay, so I think you see what I mean. We've got a big present there. 
and I'm going to do the same with the little ones here so I've just cut some really thin little strips of glitter glitter card sorry and I'm just going to put these on and for the pop-up element that's basically it if I'm honest that one's a little bit too long There we go, how adorable is that? <laughs> Little gifts. So, the bottom, well, what will be the bottom? I've cut another piece of this green card, the same width as the card, um, which was five, yeah, five inches. So I've cut it just slightly under that and I've made this about one and three quarters in width. I've cut another piece of this glitter the same length and I'm going to have this over here like this and then on the top I'm going to have season's greetings. So I'll stick them down and I'll be back. Okay so I've finished all of that it looks so pretty and if we fold it in it's time to glue it into our card base. So I'm going to put pop glue all down here okay and then we're going to glue it in just sort of a little bit past the score line don't glue it on the score line Okay, then we want glue down this side. And I've already decorated the front of mine, which I will show you in a minute. And I did that to the front of mine but of course you can do whatever you want to yours and then when we open it up we have our little pop-up presents isn't that just so pretty definitely gives you that wow factor but it actually isn't difficult to make beautiful beautiful little card I think that's another one of my favorites so let's move on to the last one okay we're going to do the last one this is a really simple little sweet little sort of card and we're going to make a sort of origami tree um so i've got a circle and just to give you a rough idea it is a five and a quarter inch circle and i've also got a little four by four card base here so i want this to be the pattern that shows so I'm going to take it I'm going to fold it in half okay I'm going to burnish that down okay I'm going to fold it in half this way Give that a good burnish again now I'm gonna open it out okay so it's like that and then I'm gonna take one of the sides actually fold it this way so the fold lines at the top and I'm gonna take one of the sides okay and I'm just gonna fold it in like this so can you see I'm just going to fold that in like that into the middle and I'm going to burnish that again I 
okay and then I'm going to turn it over the other way so the fold is now on there all right and then I am going to bring this just up to here like this so that it start kinds of folds in a line like this okay give it a good burnish so you've now got that then you'll have this little flap here around the other side if you just bring that back over and then just burnish all that down really well and there you have a really sweet little tree so what I'm going to do is I'm going to glue it on my card so it lines up with the side and I'm going to have it like that. So I'm going to have glue obviously on the back to glue it on the card. I mean if you want to have it just you know like that you can but I'm going to have mine just on the very edge of the card. Just glue that down. And then you can sort of leave it like that, I suppose, if you want to, just, you know, so it's not so flat. I may just pop a little bit of glue just there because I don't want it, I don't want to stick it completely flat. That is a really sweet little tree. And then I've just got a little sentiment, which is joy to the world. Let's glue that there and then I've got a few little enamel shapes I'm just gonna glue sorry glue I'm just gonna stick a few little ones just along the bottom There we go, isn't that so sweet? Just an adorable little Christmas card. So that is it. I hope you've enjoyed the 10 different ways to make some, you know, wow Christmas cards, which I don't think are the hardest ones. Um, and some of them are really pretty. So I'll have all the info on my blog and I will be back again next week with some more tutorials. So thanks for watching. Take care. Bye for now.